Joystick to Mouse 3.20, written by Offer at Zitz. He is from uh, Jerusalem. Wow, Israel. So, supports up to 16 joysticks. <laughs> like you're gonna have that many. Okay, you can get this program at atzitznet at atzitznet dot no dash ip dot org atzits dot no ip dot org. This is a cool little program. It's free. It lets you use your joystick as a keyboard slash mouse. Um, right now I'm using a PlayStation joystick, like this little layout that I've made here, because I always forget what the buttons go where. Okay, so up here in, well first we have launch and startup, that's a given. Um, that's the driver, and we have the profiles. There's many profiles I've already made. Uh, for Kadia I was doing some some trying stuff with some chat stuff, uh, Nintendo emulator, uh, marble games using the analog for that, just like Marble Blast Ultra on the uh, Xbox. Universal Combat has god awful controls uh, and there's no way to change them, so that's where I got the program from. <laughs> that's why I got it for that. Uru, I was trying to run around an Uru with, you know, joystick. Prime, it's another one. Racing, fighting, um, whole bunch of stuff. So, on to profiles. Profile screen. It's very, very basic. Let me show you this. Uh, file name. This is, again, you can open up your profile. The profile on the joysticks page, that's the one you're going to be using. The profile on the profiles page is the one you're going to be editing. Uh, domestic driver, polling delay, no idea. I never touch it, I never, never need it. Okay, actions, assignments, it's very simple. Button one, which as you can see, is the triangle. Two is circle, three is X, four is square. We'll be using button three as our selection key. So, okay, we're going to use the analog and the buttons to create the mouse. So we go to button three, as you can see, I've already got a set, theme, mouse. There's many different themes you can choose from, uh, keyboard, internet explorers, forward, back, uh, home, you know, function keys, F1 to F12, absolute mouse movement will throw the mouse across the screen. Uh, so we have left, left mouse button. We can also set it to uh, a double click or the middle mouse button. Uh, doesn't seem to have uh, doesn't seem to have um, compatible with the scroll wheel yet, but uh, you know that's what page up and page down does, right? Um, so button three is mouse left button. Now we scroll down, 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 down. It supports up to 32 buttons. Scroll down left. Here's the X axis and the y-axis. This is the left analog, left, right, and up, down. So the left axis, as you can see, we've got mouse movement, mouse left. And I'll show you. Here we are controlling it with the, uh, with the thing. Up, down, left, right, diagonal, moves it diagonally, you know. It's kind of loose. It's not, it's not as sensitive as the mouse, of course. Like, you try and play, you know, Doom with this, and it's not very sensitive. Um, well, Doom actually does work very well as long as you use the you set the uh, directional pad as the you know use that instead of the mouse movement because then it's kind of wonky. So uh, here we are, mouse movement left, right. We've also already got our X button set. As you can see, we're pressing, we're using the uh, X button to scroll up, scroll down. The Z axis and the um, uh, left, right, left, right, left, right. That one's kind of confusing. That one's the right analog stick. I believe Z and R 
So Z is like left, right, R is up, down. Um, I may be wrong, but I never use those. So that's about it really. Shift buttons. Uh, this is if you want to use, like say the control button on the, on the keyboard does multiple functions. You hit V, you get the letter V. Whereas if you hit control V, you get paste. So same thing here. You can set, say I could set button one. So now button one, which is triangle, is now a shift button. So if I went, say, I'll go up to our X button that we made, which is the left mouse button. If we go and button one, then that is going to do the mouse mouse button, right mouse button. There we go, I'll apply this. Always apply after everything, just to make sure. So now, if we press the left mouse button, if we press left mouse button, we select an item. If we hold down the triangle and then press the left mouse button, we get the right mouse button. Very simple, right? Triangle, X, right mouse button, or X by itself, left. up again. So there we go. That's how to There we go. And that's how to program a key. Axis configuration, left axis tells you, you know, if you want to set like say if you want the Z axis, this is horizontal. If I wanted to, I could set the Z axis to vertical so that when I move the analog left, the right analog left and right, it'll actually move whatever control up and down instead of left and right. Let's say in, like for example, in uh, Mech Warrior um, Vengeance, it uh, or Mercenaries or whatever in Mech Warrior Four. Um, my analogs are stupid where if I move, I have to, to turn the torso, I have to move the analog up and down. So that way, using this program, I can set that so that turning the torso left and right will be analog left and right. Threshold value is if your joystick is broken and it's getting really loose like the old N64 controllers did. You can set the press threshold higher, which means you have to press the analog further to get it to respond. Uh, my left direction is a little bit more sensitive than the right one and up up and down have been changed a little bit too so there's um, there you go after after this you can create anything next video we will go to actions and learning how to type our name with buttons on the controller